There's another story we're following this morning from the Justice Department. The department is being called to investigate the state of Alabama for the potential voter disenfranchisement. Last month, the state passed an emergency budget that slashed many state services because of severe budget cuts. But one victim of those cuts, driver's license offices. 31 offices across 28 counties are closing. According to recent census reports, half of the closings are in areas of the state with large African-American populations. In fact, every single county where blacks make up more than 75% of the registered voters will see their official driver's license offices close. We reached out to Republican Governor Robert Bentley. His office says this decision was based on money and identifications can still be obtained in every county at other locations. But the state's only Democrat in Congress wants the Justice Department to open a full investigation. With me now is that Congresswoman Terry Sewell of Alabama. Congresswoman, thank you for being with me. Well, thank you so much for covering this. Walk me through the timeline of when you found out these offices would be closed and then the fact where they're being closed and what the population is in those areas. Absolutely. Listen, I found out when everyone else did, when a press release was sent out on Wednesday evening, uh, last Wednesday evening, uh, September 30th, uh, that all these uh, DMV offices were going to disproportionately affect the people in my district. You know, I have 14 counties in my district, and eight of those 14 counties um, will have DMV offices that are closed. Now, when the state links that with the fact that they have a, a law that requires a photo ID in order to vote, and that most of those counties uh, have a disproportionate proportionate amount of African-American and low-income elderly people, um, it really doesn't pass the smell test. So I, even if I give my state officials the benefit of the doubt that these are budget decisions, the fact of the matter is the state of Alabama should not be balancing the budget on the backs of those who can least afford it, those who are elderly, those who are African-American, and those who are of low income. And so, Congressman, I mean, the, the governor's office says that there are other forms of identification that everybody in that state is going to have easy access to. And a lot of people don't drive but do want to vote. And so how easy is it to get other forms of identification? And what are those forms of identification? Listen, you know, just because an alternative exists doesn't mean that an alternative is either easily obtainable or easily accessible. The reality is that in many of these rural communities, there's limited modes of transportation, there's a lack of broadband, and so to give a person a suggestion that they can actually access a, a mobile van once a year, and those mobile units have only um, actually issued 29 photo IDs since they've been in existence. And so to me, that is not the solution. Um, so, what, so with all due but, respect to yeah, go yeah, ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just, I just want to get an idea of what's available and how do you get it, just for the folks that don't live there. Okay, so um, what our state officials are saying is that these photo IDs uh, can be readily accessible um, by going to a board of registrar, which is also located in the same courthouse as most of these DMV offices are. Um, but the reality is when you uh, scratch the surface, you find out that only a thousand uh, of those uh, board of registrars were actually uh, used last election cycle, and these mobile units, only 29 photo IDs were given out during that time. So I would love to welcome the opportunity to sit down with state officials in my state of Alabama and talk about a plan of how they will actually make sure that my constituents, first time voters potentially, yep. uh, will be able to get a, um, a DMV license. Uh, this is really critical and I think that they've opened the Pandora's box by linking uh, the photo ID with the right to vote. And so I have requested that the Justice Department look into this to make sure that my constituents are not disproportionately affected by these closures. And you know, look, if it if it's only 25, 29 IDs that have been uh, issued by issued. Those, those mobile things, that is very concerning. Congressman, thank Absolutely. you for being with me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure seeing you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you.